This lesson deals with Supplemental Problem 10.1. You can find this problem in the course ebook in the Chapter 10 Supplemental Problems on page 1. Given this transistor circuit, with the parameters for the transistor of VB on equal 0.7, VCE sat equal to 0.2, and beta F equal to 100, if you assume that this is in the active region, can you find the base current, the collector current, and the collector emitter voltage? And then verify that this guess is correct. Our first step is to replace the transistor by its model. Here is the collector, here is the base, and here is the emitter. This notation with an arrow pointing in the air with a voltage indicates that there's a power supply connected up from this node back to ground. Put that right here as a 9 volt power supply. Between the base and the emitter, I have VBE on of 0.7 and the base current going into the base. I have a resistor from the 9 volt supply to the collector. Here's 9 volt to the collector. And then from the collector to the emitter, I have a current source of beta FIB, which is also the collector current, and the voltage across it is VCE. And lastly, I have a 10K resistor between the base and the collector. My first step here is to write as many things down in the schematic as I can find. And since this current is 100 I sub B and this is equal to I sub B, well then this has to be 101 I sub B. I'm just doing Kirchhoff's current law, this collector. If I go around this loop over here, I have just batteries and things that have I sub B in it. Rise in voltage is 0.7. The base current's flowing, creating a drop this way, so I get a rise in voltage of 10K times I sub B. And then likewise, I'm getting a rise in voltage of 101 I sub B times 1.5K. So a rise in voltage, a rise in voltage equals the drop of 9. Now I can solve for I sub B. It's going to be 9 minus 0.7 divided by 10K and divided by 1.5K times 101. And that's 51.393 microamps. Is that greater than or equal to 0? Yes, so that checks. Our collector current is beta FIB, where beta F was 100. 100 times this number is 5.139 milliamps. Of course, this is going to be positive because this was positive, so we don't need to check that. And then lastly, you got to find the collector emitter voltage. If you go around this loop here, we know everything but the collector emitter voltage. We know the current in this resistor and the resistance. We know the voltage. So let's do that. The rise in voltage is VCE. The rise in voltage is 1.5K times 101 IB, and then the drop is equal to 9. Solving for this, I have 9 minus 1.5K times 101 I sub B, but I sub B was 51.393 microamps. That gives me 1.214. Is that greater than 0.2? Yes, so that checks. So my assumption of being in the active region is correct. The base current is greater than or equal to zero, and the collector emitter voltage is greater than or equal to VCE sat, which is equal to 0.2. Little note here on the bottom. If you go around this loop here, the rise in voltage is 0.7, the rise in voltage is 10K times I sub B, and the drop is VCE. To be active, this needs to be greater than or equal to VCE sat, which is equal to 0.2. But here, this side of the equation is at least 0.7. This circuit has the transistor always in the active region. And this is supplemental problem 10.1.